Okay. <clears throat> that is my Craigslist post. I thought it was so awesome that I thought I should read you guys what it says. <clears throat> it's perfect, okay? I think it's fucking perfect. <laughs> it's called, the title, Words to the Wise slash Slacks Buddy. <laughs> I've been searching slash posting on Craigslist for a short while now, and I have some things I'd like to point out to everyone. Just because we graduated from email or MSN to chatting on the phone, it doesn't mean we're getting married. Yes, I got that many times before. Two, I'm flattered that you like my fully clothed, family-suitable, normal pics, like they're not naked pics, but if you make it sound like you masturbate to them every night, I get creeped out. Royally. Like, seriously? Okay. I give you a pic, right, and, you know, just a normal pic of me standing, like, you know, whatever, right, and just a normal pic, and it's, oh, my God, you're so beautiful, oh, my God, I'd like to fuck that, oh, my God, seriously, if I wanted to date a man, I'd date a man, because, seriously, you're acting like a fucking man, seriously. Number three, don't say, I'm mature for my age, and then say stupid shit like, I like, love, are you, something, L-M-A-O chat speak, whatever the fuck it is. It turns me off completely. I'm not dating a 15-year-old, okay? Number four, the term lesbian means I like, I find women attractive. It doesn't mean I like fucking women in front of your boyfriend, <laughs> okay? No. A million times no, okay? And plus, if you have a boyfriend, you're not a lesbian, sweetie. I'm sorry. <laughs> Six. If you're too scared or unsure about meeting up after me chatting online with you for, like, over three to six months, after all that time, chatting online and texting for three to six months, and you still don't want to meet up, then don't lead me on and waste my time. Tell me you don't want to meet up, and it's over with. I'm not looking for a text, buddy, okay? Number seven, when I say no men or no couples, that goes for those people who call themselves Master Diablo, Mistress Jasmine, Mike, Steve, interracial people who don't understand the English language, you know what I'm talking about, and any other male name. No men, meaning no penis, and no couples, meaning no males who basically force their wives or girlfriends to go with another woman. Because 99% of the males do, couples do that. It's all the male who fucking initiates these, these meetings. So I'm probably going to get a lot of females saying something like, actually, it's me who wants to fuck another woman, and my boyfriend accepts that, so I don't know what you're talking blah, 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 I've already heard it. <clears throat> so, it goes on to say, contrary to this post, I am not a bitch, I'm just fed up. I am actually a cute, funny, generous, caring, and loving individual who would very much like somebody to hang out with. I've only been to Church Street once, well, twice, but I'm not... I don't want to go there. And would like to go to Slacks with someone I feel most comfortable with to meet the ladies. Wink, wink. Wait a minute. Computer. Right. If this sounds like you, don't be shy, blah, 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 blah. I liked those seven rules right there. I really did, seriously, because there's a lot of women out there who's like, I'm gay, I'm a lesbian, or I'm bi, blah, 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 blah. You know? And they don't want to hang out. They don't want to meet up. They're too scared to fucking chat like a fucking text. They're too scared to be themselves. They don't know how to have a fucking decent conversation. They sound like they've never picked up a book in their entire fucking lives. And yet they want to meet up. And it's like, oh, I'm lonely. Oh, I'm looking for somebody, blah, blah, blah. But when it actually happens, they're scared shitless. It's like, seriously, get a fucking clue. It's the main reason why I don't want to fucking live in Toronto anymore. Seriously, I just want to get the fuck out of Canada. I really do. Because it's pretty sad that Church Street is the only basically gay-friendly place that you can actually freely meet other gays and lesbians and whatnot. Like, in Toronto, one street. And when you go to Church Street... It's all gay bars. There's only, like, one lesbian bar that anybody really ever knows of, and that's the most popular slacks. And it's like, seriously? Seriously. And then we go, oh, gays have no rights. Well, okay, yeah, granted, they're not treated equally, but I find the entire fucking hall of Church Street 
is dedicated to males. So, I don't know, dude. All I'm saying is that lesbians basically aren't, lesbians don't exist anymore in my eyes because I don't see any. I really don't see any. I'm not a man hater. I actually get along better with males. But I'm not a butch. I'm not a femme. I'm me. So, I don't know. That's just one of my pet peeves. A, a very, very, very large pet peeve. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. Because it was really bothering me.